Okay, I've welded on the other um, brackets properly so that the tabs, so those are all on. So now what I'm doing is I'm just lining up to um, measure up the through hole. So I've got this piece of tube and that fits over there. And this is, you, this is the whole point of me needing to do these first. It was so that I can get this angle and get these in the right place. So this is a through hole that's going to go through. And I'm going to stick that up there like that. And I'm just going to line this up now on my CAD drawing. This is uh, 32 degrees, I think, but I'm just going to do it so that it's in the right place. Now that I think is okay. Now what I'm also going to do is I'm going to put a universal joint in here just to, to take up any any minor discrepancy. So it doesn't really matter if this is not super accurate, but I want it as near as I can get it, of course. Where it's going. Now I need to crack out the mag drill. Now, the mag drill does not stick on. I kind of expected this. There's its sticking magnet. And it's, it's I mean, it's not bad actually. I mean, I, I could almost do it like that, but I mean, it's, it's not, it's, it's, I don't think it's safe. You see, yeah, see, I can pull it off and so it might it might just spin round like that so I'm gonna have to make a plate to hold it on. So the idea is I'm gonna put these here, those little tabs and those there like that sort of like this. I'm just gonna quickly weld it all together and then I'll show you how it's gonna work. I just want to test uh, this one is this is 31 I've got two drills one's 31 mil and the other's 32 mil and this is inch and a half sorry inch and a quarter Is the fit look that's a tiny bit I mean could be a very microscopic a bit tighter but it's really not bad at all so I'm definitely going to go with that all right so this is the plan neighbor has got problems with his car alarm I can hear him cursing at it this is still a bit hot but I'm going to put ratchet strap through this So that's the idea. Right. Let's get it in place. Alright for me in here. Well that seems to work okay. The reason I didn't make this any, any bigger by the way, you, know, you might think why well, didn't you make a big fat one like that, is because I've got the feeling it might need to go into awkward places. So I made it small as I can and it seems to be alright there, like that. It's just unbelievable how it does that. 
This is eight millimeter. On JDB, I did all of the holes like this with a flame cutter. I'll do an inside shot this time. I'm not overthinking this, uh, just got it held in with a pair of mole grips. I've got put it right in the middle, so I've got, I mean it does depend where I put the ruler to be fair, but more or less 34. I'm going to let, wait for this one to cool down and I'm going to flip it over to the other one. Right, I'm going to spin it around to do the inside. could get it at, at that angle but I'm not going to risk it so I'm going to flip it over. Actually I've got a better idea, easier idea. Oops, I don't think that was a good idea, I just took the handle off the jack and now obviously it's sprung up and I'm not going to be able to get it all back on. Oh, come on. Uh, anyway, point is I can weld around there now. Now, this is the trouble with building a small boat. It's just awkward. One more to go. Uh, I've got to get the jack out somehow. How am I going to do this?
wish I had more room. Mind you, more than I had when I did JB, I did that in a single garage. So I'm not complaining. So that one's done as well. Uh, so that's both of them complete. They need, they'll need reaming out now. But it's really quite easy to do these, to be honest. Another um, one up there. Anyway, got plenty more to do. Oh, and just in case anyone is is interested, um, these are ESAB 709, uh, sorry, 309 L Molly, 3.2 millimeter, and I'm running at 111 amps DC positive. Okay, so these through holes are in. Um, so, I mean, obviously I'll wait for final assembly now to put it all together. Um, so I need to start thinking about the next stages now. I need to put some high pressure air inlets through. So I need to do some serious CAD work and uh, figure out where I need those to go. And I'm gonna have to get some end caps ordered because I'm gonna be dead ready for those pretty soon. And I need to come get the cap tower done. I'm actually stalling a bit on the tower because uh, when I did JDB, I could get the, 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 um, the Hatchland machined here in Guernsey, but they, they haven't got that machine anymore. So I'm really trust, struggling to find somewhere um, in the UK that can do it. I really need some, somebody who's got a, um, a flange facer. Um, and the companies that I've rung up so far are just not interested in doing a one-off job. Um, I mean, I'll get there somewhere, but um, that's why I'm, I'm kind of dithering around a bit with the tower, but I've got plenty more of these through holes to make. Um, I've got one more viewport to do, although I'm tempted to do another. I'll show you on, on CAD. Um, I'm very tempted to put in viewports in a different configuration. I need to sit in and have a, have a look, actually. I'm not doing it now. I've had enough. So very briefly, I just quickly um, measured the angle on these valves. So there's the, there's the valve. I actually had to model the valve because I didn't have um, the exact one on the McMaster car. So I was I messed around for ages modeling those. Anyway, the angle was uh, 30 degrees from the horizontal. And the other thing I wanted to show was the viewports, which I'm thinking of putting two extra ones in there and there. And I've got the one underneath, which I think will be quite good. but tempted to put another another couple in I just need to um, do some analysis on that and see um, see if it's if it's going to be okay